The measures should China made in the development of lithography machines. Recently, I have seen a comment that China cannot develop advanced lithography machines on its own, but should still hope for international cooperation with the United States and the West, relying on globalization and marketization to solve the problems of lithography machine development and high-end chips. Is this view feasible? I think under the situation that globalization has been reversed, China's high-tech industry has been completely suppressed by the United States, sanctions and embargoes, and the United States has begun to form a global high-end chip alliance to encircle and suppress China. I still have illusions about the United States and the West, and still place my hopes on the cooperation with the United States and the West. It is harmful to cooperate to solve the high-end chip problem. This view will keep China constrained by the US and the West in the chip field, and will also plunge China into the high-end chip predicament. The darkest moment for Huawei caused by the most severe sanctions imposed by the United States on Huawei is coming. The lack of core availability is becoming a severe reality for Huawei. High-end chips are not only causing harm to Huawei, but also to China's high-end industry. So how serious is China's dependence on chips in the international market? In 2021, the import value of China's integrated circuit chips will exceed 440 billion US dollars, or 2.8 trillion yuan. During the same period, the value of China's imported goods in trade in goods is 17.37 trillion yuan. Chips account for 16% of the total import value, which is much higher than energy, and so on and ranks first. Bit. This figure tells us that, first, China relies heavily on chips in the international market. Second, chips are the blood of the modern economy. Almost all industries and industries rely on chips to survive. The automobile manufacturing industry is severely cut off from supply. Third, the number of high-end chips imported by China is increasing year by year. The high-end lithography machine is currently stuck in the neck of Chinese chips. The sanctions imposed by the United States on China in respect of high-end lithography machines are becoming a noose, which is tightly wrapped around the neck of China's chip industry, causing China's high-end industry to fall into pain. Recently, there is a voice in the Chinese public opinion field that it is unfeasible to solve the high-end chip problem by a national system. It is more difficult to build a lithography machine than an atomic bomb. A lithography machine is not only a machine, but an industrial chain. China does not it is possible to develop a high-end lithography machine with the strength of a country. To solve the chip problem, China still needs to take the road of globalization, or it needs to cooperate with the United States and the West. That is, China cannot develop a national system in chip development and must use market forces and globalization and cooperation with the United States and the West to solve it. This is actually a paradox. The current globalization and free market have been reversed. In order to maintain its dominant position in the field of high-end chips and integrated circuits, the United States has introduced a number of bills to support the chip industry. The government invests huge amounts of money to support the chip industry. On the one hand, it is to return the high-end chip manufacturing industry to the United States, and on the other hand, it is to form a global high-end chip industry alliance to contain China. Half a year ago, the United States formed a chip four-way alliance against China, namely Chip 4, composed of the United States, 
Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan province of China. At the same time, it also included hundreds of high-tech enterprises, institutions and universities in China on the sanctions list. It is almost impossible for China to the international market, has obtained high-end equipment for manufacturing chips, such as extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. If China cannot rely on its own strength to develop equipment and materials for manufacturing high-end chips, China will not be able to achieve breakthroughs in the next few years, or even 10 or 20 years. The chip field will also always lag behind the United States and other Western countries by 10 or 20 years. Since chips have become the blood of modern industry, Without high-end chips, they can only struggle in low-end manufacturing forever and become wage earners in low-end industries in the United States and Western countries. Year after year, generation after generation, high-end aviation engines were once considered the crown of industrial manufacturing. The development of Chinese military aircraft has long been subject to high-end engines. Western countries such as the United States do not sell high-end aviation engines to China at all. China can only buy engines from Russia, Ukraine and other countries. There are many restrictions. In the end, China established the China Aero Engine Group Corporation, which was developed with the strength of the whole country. During this period, many people thought that it was impossible for China to develop a top-notch aero engine, but in the end, China made a major breakthrough. At present, some important fighter aircraft in China have begun to change their models. The engine developed by China, the future Chinese stealth fighter J-20 will also be replaced with the engine developed by China itself. After being severely sanctioned by the United States in BIDA navigation satellites, aircraft carrier electromagnetic ejection systems, hypersonic missiles, stealth fighters, etc., China used a national system and the power of the whole country to become self-reliant, and not only broke through the key core. The technical difficulties have also surpassed the United States and the West in many aspects. Now the argument that it is impossible for China to develop an advanced lithography machine has come out again. Under the situation that the United States is besieging China in an all-round way, some people have begun to say that it is impossible for China to develop an advanced lithography machine, advocating that China still has to rely on the US and the West. Globalization and Marketization Theory at the same time, some people say that 28 nanometer chips are enough for more than 80% of China's industrial needs. Except for high-end smartphones, high-end chips have no great practicality. This kind of understanding is even more short-sighted. Today's world's technology is developing rapidly, and the importance of chips is becoming more and more prominent. An industry like chips will lag behind by one or two generations after one or two years. The global chip trade is rapidly increasing, and the annual chip trade the amount is as high as one trillion US dollars, and the United States, South Korea, Japan, Europe, and Taiwan province of China are still investing heavily in the chip field to seize the commanding heights of advanced manufacturing processes. The reason why the United States imposes the most severe sanctions on China in the chip field is because high-end chips have become the blood of the modern economy and almost all industrial fields are inseparable from chips. In the future, the demand for high-end chips will increase exponentially, imposing chip sanctions on China it is to impose sanctions on China's core industries and it is to launch a high-tech war against China. 
This is both a high-tech war and a national war. If China cannot achieve breakthroughs in the field of high-end chips, and if China cannot develop its own high-end lithography machine, then China will surely fail miserably in the future all-round competition. In my opinion, China should now take the following measures in the development of lithography machines. First, because the lithography machine is an industry with a long chain, large investment, long investment cycle and slow effect, it should focus on the national strength to tackle key problems. The lithography machine company, as the main force of the entire lithography machine industry chain, reorganizes the relevant technology and manufacturing forces in state-owned enterprises to form a national research force. The second is that because the development of lithography machines involves the entire industrial chain, the state should classify the key materials, technologies, and links that are stuck in the neck of lithography machines and organize national scientific research institutes, universities, and related enterprises to participate in the research and development and carry out technical research separately. Third, Many key enterprises in China's private enterprises have achieved gratifying results in the research and development of lithography machines, which has laid an important foundation for the research and development of lithography machines in China. The state should cultivate key enterprises in these private enterprises. The National Integrated Circuit Fund these key private enterprises make strategic investment and seed investment, fully support them, and form a basic force for the whole society to participate in tackling key problems. Everyone knows that the development of a lithography machine is difficult, but no matter how difficult it is, it must be done. No matter how difficult it is, it will always be difficult. Now some people still have illusions about the United States, believing that the United States will still be open to China in terms of chips and lithography machines, and will not kill China with one stick. It kills 1,000 enemies and loses 800. In the field of high-end chips, the United States will never be lenient towards China, and it will never give up halfway. We once believed in the United States and the West and dismounted. We once believed in the West and invested billions in the development of the European Satellite Navigation System. As a result, we were kicked out without even touching the technology. We once believed that the United States and the West could use the market change technology. As a result, the United States, Europe, Japan and South Korea have monopolized the Chinese auto market for decades. China not only failed to acquire technology, but also lost the market, until we relied on our own strength to fight a bloody road in the new energy vehicle track. It may take a long time for us to develop a lithography machine by ourselves, but if we don't develop it, we will be stuck in the neck forever. That's the reason there is always possibility and hope for a long time, but if we don't do it, it will never be possible. There is never hope. The road is made by people. The West can develop lithography machines and form a lithography machine industry chain. Why can't China? It is because of the difficulty that we must do it with the strength of the whole country, and because of the difficulty, we need to calm down and work hard to solve the problem. If it can be built, can it be impossible to develop an advanced lithography machine with China's huge market and national strength and a group of high-quality enterprises and outstanding scientific researchers to tackle key problems? 20 or 30 years ago, who would have thought that we could surpass the United States and the West in nuclear power high-speed rail, navigation, space stations, power grids, etc. Who would have thought that in two years, 
China's space station will become the only space station in space. Who would have thought that China could build a beta navigation system that rivals GPS? A few decades ago, it was said that few Chinese-made cars could be seen on the streets of China, but in a few decades, China's new energy vehicles will become the dominant force in the global auto market. The US and the West used to be ahead of us in the field of science and technology for many years, but now we should have the confidence that what the US and the West can do, China can also do, and what the US and the West cannot do, we can do it. Chip design was once considered unattainable, but Huawei High Silicon successfully designed the world's most advanced chips. The US operating system was once considered unattainable and irreplaceable, but Huawei Hongmeng system broke the monopoly of the US operating system in one fell swoop. Now the United States is choking us in the field of chip manufacturing, and we are launching an offensive in this field. On the battlefield, we cannot give up the attack, because there is an enemy bunker in front of us, hand over our positions to others, and raise a white flag to surrender. What we need to overcome is the inner cowardice and fear, we must have full confidence, Westerners are not smarter than us, what they can do, we can do it too, all we need is time, when the enemy gets stuck in our neck at the time, the only thing we have to do is to fight back desperately, otherwise we will only be stuck by the enemy. In the high-end chip position, China must break through, and China must be able to break through. In the high-end chip position, apart from attacking and winning, China has no way out.